Have you ever measured something and it came out a decimal point and you want to figure out how to use it on a ruler? Well, I'm going to show you guys an easy trick to learn that I was taught many years ago. So you want to stick around for this. This will not only help for your carpentry, your electrical, or for anything else, but it will help you really change decimals fast. And if you memorize it, it's even quicker. So stick around, guys. I think you're going to enjoy this one. Right here what we have, we have a ruler. Now, if you guys do not understand a ruler, we're going to start at zero and we're going to go to one inch. This could be 12 and 13, so on and so forth. These marks will never change on a standard American ruler. So you have a sixteenth, an eighth, three sixteenths, a quarter, five sixteenths, and so on and so forth. Now this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then sixteen. So we can say that this right here is zero to one inches. Now, so let's say you have twenty and a half and you want to divide a room or a board like this, for instance, right here above me, or whatever you're cutting, and you want to put it into four equal parts. Well, let's see. All right, so let's say you want to take 20 and a half, 0.5, right? Because half of uh, one is, a half, is 0.5, and you want to divide it by four, and it comes up to five, one, two, Five. Now, we can't take this number right here and see it anywhere up there, right? So what we have to do is we have to take the point one two five. So we'll take point one two five, and you multiply it by 16. Now, why do you do it by 16? Let's, why, let's look at this. Why is it 16? Because there's 16 marks here. From zero to one inch, there's 16 marks. So we're going to take the one... We're going to take the one, or point one two five, and we're going to times that by 16, and we're going to see where it says two. So that equals two. Now what this number right here represents is two marks on here, so it's one, two. So right here you would have five and an eighth. And that's as easy as that. You can do it no matter where you are in the scale. Now, now, if you can see this, at zero, there's nothing there. So these are your decimal points all the way through your, your measurements on your fractions to decimals. So a sixteenth is 0 0.625, an eighth is 0 0.125, three sixteenths is 1.875, and so on and so forth. You can see what we, we got going on here. Now, the problem is I was wiring this big, huge open kitchen and every time that I would measure, I would get, you know, like 0.625 on a calculator, or I would get, you know, 0.6875 or, or 0.875. And then I had to f try to figure out how in the heck do I do a decimal? Well, if you have a calculator, let's just say you have 10 point eight seven five, okay? And that's what your calculator reading is. And you want to see what that 0.875 is to a decimal. Well, the only thing you got to do, literally, is 8, 7, 5. No, that doesn't look like an 8. Let's try it again. You have to times it by 16. All right. If you're in the field, you Normally, you'll have your cell phone with you almost every time. Most everybody does. So you would take that 0.875 times 16 equals 14 spaces. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that equals. That's basically the easiest way to do it. So you always take your decimal times 16, all right? That's the easiest route. That will help you guys in your kitchen layouts, in your receptacle layouts, in your carpentry cuts, whatever, whatever you're cutting and you have to turn the fraction into decimal or decimal into fraction. That is literally the easiest way to do it. And now you guys know my little trick. And that was a pretty quick video and I hope that really helped because I sat and I struggled for years and this old guy was like, what are you doing? He said, let me, let me just show you an easy way to do this so you can figure up your kitchen layout because I was doing can lights. 
And that was back in the old days where you would pull the string and you would take another string and you would tie it on there and you would know where your line was. And then you take another string and you go this way with it. And then at the intersecting points, that's where you would put your can light. Now, obviously we have lasers nowadays, so we don't have to do all that. But I was still having to try to figure out, even though I was good at math, I still couldn't remember the easy way to do it. And by golly, that guy said, let me show you, and he showed me. So this kind of stuff will also help you with laying out lights and bending conduit. Now, if you guys have found value in this, please make sure you smash that thumbs up. And if you wanna continue learning how to use measurements to bend conduit, well, I've got a video that'll be coming up right at the end of this video. You guys can click on that and continue on learning a lot of stuff on my channel. If you wanna see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.